Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Blopcast. Hi. Uh, it is me, your amazing, perfect 10 out of 10 host, and I'm joined today with, um, uh, as always, uh, my good friend, John O. I'm 1 out of 10. Okay. Um. I, I, I don't know in what, but I'm just 1 out of 10. Just in general. Just in general. <laughs> just in general, a... A, 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 a pretty, a pretty, a, pre, a pretty, a pretty trash person. I don't know where I'm going with this. One out of ten is better than zero out of ten. You at least you have something. You have that. Does zero ten, count? You have that ten percent in you. <sighs> All right. Take a look. So, um, we got a few uh pretty neato stories to talk about today. Um, a few things to go on about. So it should be good. So uh, be sure to stick around for the entire way through. So, first of all, I want to make sure that we uh, talk about this right away, because there's a chance that people might not have seen it yet. Mm-hmm. Although, <laughs> because I've gained a huge mass of subscribers from this event, I'm sure that most people who are watching this have probably already seen it. Uh, Green Donuts, a, a good friend of mine, has just released his uh, Paper Mario or Super Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door Abridged Episode One. Yay! That's a that's a mouthful of a title. Just call it Paper Mario Abridged. I know I will. Right. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Or just call it Thousand Year Door Abridged. That's better. I like that one. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I've seen a bit of it, and then I was like, Ugh, I heard, and then I heard my voice. And I was like, no, thank you. I'm good. Yeah, you see it like. I'm not used to the sound of my voice. It just turns really like. Uh, I've gotten, I've gotten very used to it. I have not. So, for those who don't know, there's actually just something, like, in your brain that, uh, essentially, when, when you speak, you hear it normally. Like, you don't hear your voice as it is. You hear, like, I think it's because, like, your bones and shit make a difference. I don't know. I bet I'm completely wrong. I, I remember I read something on this a few years ago. And it was really interesting, but I, I didn't I didn't delve too much more into it from that. Um, so either way, the the bridge is out. Um, I told everybody inside of a past update video to guess which character I was, and for my three dedicated viewers, um, uh, it's pretty I, easy. Place your bets on the table now. Uh, we're gonna give you like one minute. Uh, collect your thoughts. See if you can guess who I am. Want to get copyright striked? No, preferably not. Okay, so time is up. Um, if you did not guess, I was the narrator, and yes, my voice was pitch shifted because I do not do an amazing narrator voice. I do a mediocre one. I thought that maybe pitch shifting it would make it sound better, but it just made it sound weird. But either way, that's what we're going with now. Um, it sounds cool. I, I liked it. It has um, 87 views, which is cool. I think it probably has more now. It has more now. I think I'll, I'll check. I has, shall. It, has it passed 100? Has let, it passed 100? Let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me because check. around around our town, where we release nothing but mediocre videos that only our friends watch, if you get a, <laughs> if you get above 100 views... You've congratulations that video has reached legend status. I mean, even that, uh, among among our friends, even that video has reached legend status in our eyes. It has one hundred and fifty-seven. Damn. Woot Although you know what that could be, that could be some people watching it over multiple over. times. I have. I, and I doubt people have spammed it, but it, like like YouTube, if you like watch the video like two or three times. Then, or, like, even if you just click on it to, like, check the numbers and stuff, because I've had this happen on my videos a couple of times. So, like, even if you just, like, click on it four or five times to see how it's doing, like, YouTube will just, like, wipe that away inside of, like, a week. Mm. So, who knows? Who knows if those numbers are really, um... Why well, didn't click correct. on it? I just kind of, like, glazed at it, like... I would, I would, uh, I would love, uh, I would love for those numbers to be correct, though. Apparently, that's, I, that's I, really accidentally, I accidentally disliked it. And it's gonna stay that no, it's, it's gonna stay that way because it deserves it. Um, from the few comments the video does have, which is eighteen, all of it's positive. Like, that's cool. So yeah, that's definitely good to hear. Very. If you were to get stuff on like the very first episode where it's like, what is this? What is this crap? <laughs> Kill yourself. Also, apparently, um, script two is done for episode dos. So that's cool. Now we just gotta 
And you didn't, act- you didn't help right on that one. No, I didn't, because I was busy. What was up with that? Josh Barry didn't even give him a time to... Well, here's the thing. I didn't say anything. Things. I just kind of looked at the messages and said, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I probably should have said something, because I was busy at the time. I have not been avail- available recently, because reasons. Stepbrother's in town. Gotta hang out with him. That's a, Yep, and that's a completely legitimate reason. Totally not selling drugs. <laughs> Ignore that. All right, so um, uh, before we go any further with that, um, I just want, once again, a uh, big thank you to Green Donuts for letting me be a part of something like that. I think almost everybody in the Blot Boys is a part of it. John has taken uh, a huge part in that process with writing the script for the first episode, and he's voiced a couple characters. I think he might stop voice acting. I don't know. And it's so weird to hear your own... I'm still can't get over it. Oh my oh, god, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Am I fired? No, it's okay. We just we need a better table. We need like we need like an actual table. This is not this is a fake table. This is an actual table, but you can just this fold is, it. This is a cheap table. It's a foldable table. Chinese. It's very table. small, but we're like almost like gazing at it. We're almost touching each we're almost touching each other's faces with our faces. That's not true. Yeah it is. It's very not true. Yeah it is. Okay. It, we, we do we do this show on a budget, ladies and gentlemen. A budget of whatever's in Josh's wallet. <laughs> a budget of uh, what I can find between couch cushions <laughs> while I search for a part-time job. Which nobody, Good luck. W- nobody wants to hire me. Yeah, especially it's, now. Like ugh. I know, especially when you're when you're handing stuff in, like through the summer. Yeah, it's like God. Good luck with that. And I, I was, have... although I mean, like I was, I was even ahead of the game. Yeah, you were. I was handing stuff in like March. I got, I got one place to call me back. I went in for an interview. Weirdest interview. It, this is, this is, we're going to get way off topic. No, I, no, I want to hear this. It was the weirdest interview, right? So, I was, I was applying at a Cineplex, which is, um, I think they're mainly in Canada, but they've also spread out to the is Americas it, as well. Is it the Cineplex near the Indigo, um, Starbucks? John, you, this is very dangerous. You don't say these things. <laughs> is it, is it the Starbucks? Next, it is that one. It is that one, though. Next to the... Blue thing, and the Starbucks thing is the orange thing that sells. T- yes, t- the things. That's right. Okay. Um, the orange it, is store. is that's the address. So... Um, <laughs> uh, let me pull up the specific address here, so that way people can cross link it. Um, and come to my house. I will be really rude to you. If you can figure out where I live, come to my house. I'll give you a prize. The prize is getting escorted out of my household by a policeman. <laughs> if come on, like that place is still pretty far. I would have taken public bus. Yeah, it's that's the, that place is still like a ways away. Dri- like even driving. Yeah, I know, but like, I, but I mean, like with a place like that, it's like goddamn. If they can hire me, hell yeah, hell yeah, I'm going. Like, are you kidding me? I love Santa plugs. I love cleaning. Oh, um, another sidetrack thing that indul- that involves a Santa plugs. My mom, um, near the beginning of me moving into the house I live in now, I think that was like five years ago. She worked. Me and my dad worked, I mean, not me and my dad, my mom and my dad worked at, um, a Cineplex cleaning, like, the main area, so right. they can get extra money so they can pay off the house faster. And so, like, they would clean that with their cousins, and I would go there, and I would get money, and I stole from there once, and I got yelled at. I stole Skittles. <laughs> it's just Skittles, you guys. How old were you? 13, I think. Or 12. <laughs> this was two days ago. <laughs> But yeah, that's my experience. Come on, John. Stealing is wrong. I've done it so many times. Yo, <laughs> no, <laughs> that is not something you should not say that that comes from. You know how easy it is. Okay, I won't, I won't say this <laughs> on the platter. Do you know how easy it is? I will not say that this is, on the. This, these are not the things that you should be saying, Jonathan. You know the dollar man near near here. Oh yeah, yeah. So easy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't even know. Okay, when this podcast is done, I'll tell you how, 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 how. John is in deep, you guys. You guys don't even know. All right, so I, I go to the Cineplex. Okay. Right? Anyways, back to this. We got off topic from getting off topic. <laughs> so I go to the Cineplex, and the first thing that they do is they say, okay, are you here for the interview? Okay, cool, I'll come with us. So thankfully, this is time no movies are running okay. or anything like that. So but like, everything's um, everything's more or less empty. But the staff members are all there. Yeah. So they sit us down at this table. There's about twelve of us, and I'm thinking like, God damn, are they gonna really like run through us individually and like, but like still have us grouped together like this inside of this way? Because we we're all sitting there at a table. Mm. 
And I was just, I was, I was. Were you saying in like the party area where like birthdays happen, or were you saying like outside no. in like the main area where like the tickets are and the food is and all that? That's right. Yeah, it was. It was over there. So I'm sitting there, and there's a group of people. They were all, they were all really nice. How old? Like age difference? We were like um, the the hour that I came in at. Um, we were all relatively in the same age group, with uh, people only being like. Um, at the maximum, like... 17? 17. Yeah. Was, the, was the oldest at the one guy. Who was the youngest? 14? The youngest was 14, yeah. Hmm. So, um... What if no one just got a job there and they just, like, did it for jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Lols, we're not even giving away positions. Everybody can leave now. <laughs> so they they take... But it's at this moment when one of the staff members who... Uh, this guy, his name was Owen. He was super chill. Super cool. Um, he comes up and he's like, Alright, everybody, come on. Let's go. So I said, Okay, I guess we're going now. Um... So, as we're wandering, um, we enter the the one theater. It's, what it's, number was it? Um, it's it was like uh, it was it was one. It was a way at the back. So whatever the the absolute like last theater is, and it's 10, it was like it was 11. like a smaller. It was like a smaller one. So they all they throw us up all in the in the front row, and there's like there's like three tables like the one that we're sitting on actually just mm. um set up like down more so towards the screening area mm. so then they get a bunch of the uh, the higher up staff members to come and they all sit down there and then they're gonna be like okay here we go so you got the the one person who runs the place um she runs through like a quick little video like the manager and stuff yeah it was the manager or it was actually the co-manager mm. that was sitting there the manager was like um, he was just like watching from afar. Like, yeah, really I was like, away. was he watching from that booth where the projector is? No, he was. He was just like sitting up in the corner. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? So much. So I, I don't know. So um, he's sitting up there. Um, then then the one lady, the co-manager, um, is running through different details of uh, Cineplex, like some of the benefits and stuff that you'd get there. And overall, what were the, what were the, the staff, benefits? The staff members seemed great. The benefits were awesome because like once a month. Uh, they movie? would do. They would do. Um, you would get free movies. You would get early screenings. Oh, awesome! Uh, you'd get free food. Awesome. Um, and because like uh, they have the scene cards and stuff, and so many companies do dealings, like do like uh, partnerships with that sort of thing. So like uh, you'd get discounts at tons of different stores, including sure. like Apple stores. And since sure. because like my family runs on for the most part Apple products, bes- besides our computers, which we run Windows. But um, no, I think that we, we run Apple products, so that would be that would be um, that would have been a perfect uh, deal for me. So I'm thinking there, oh, this is so cool, this is awesome. So then they go through, they answered, uh, they have us answer a few questions about ourselves. Like normally at interviews, it's very professional focused. Was it more like um, do whatever? I don't know. Not very good. It, it it wasn't it wasn't that loose. I know it wasn't that loose. It was like it was more like chill and like not a lot of pressure they just be like what's some hobbies that you have it's like normally like you they, they don't have that those sort of questions at most interviews is what i gathered from mm. doing research so that was really interesting um and then after that they had went and they had given us each um an object that they use at the store and they were like okay you got a one we're guessing you don't know what these are but you just need to make up something. Then you're going to make up an info commercial about it. So um, they uh, gathered us. They split us off into groups. There was about ten of us there. So I was in this group with this one quiet girl who sadly, because of her shyness, probably didn't earn the position. But either way, she was really nice. Then another guy there who was also a little bit more quiet and uh, seemingly a very smart dude. Um, so, uh, But I, I obviously recognize, okay... I'm the most outgoing person here, so I'll take charge, and I did. Um, so and they then we had, fail, and they kick us out. So um, they gave us, I it's an ice pick. I, I knew it was an ice pick, but I also didn't want to be like, okay, it's an ice pick. I, I, I'll just go out there, and I'll say, this is an ice pick. I you can pick like, ice with it. What's, what's, something, what's something cool that we could, what, we could make it? So we said that it was, um, I think we said it was. it had something to do with, like, it was, an, it was a tool that we used to, like, um, mash up like butter or something that we decided upon i don't remember mm. what we decided upon but i i uh ended up throwing on my info commercial voice and it wasn't even i don't even know how i did it that day because i did it so well that day <laughs> and i haven't been able i was to, just I haven't so been, good i haven't been able to replicate it since i don't mean to toot my own horn but that day i would have made a pretty kick-ass info commercial yo i've been sniffing this candle for like the last five minutes it smells amazing thank you i try I made it. 
Oh, you did? With cool. my mind. Wow, what are you, Magneto? That's not the right superhero. Um, what are you? I Candle forgot her Man. name. Candleman. F- no, I forgot her name. It's a girl from, like, My Hero Academia who can, like, make shit from her body. Oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> it's like, her powers are weird. We're getting off topic from the off topic. <laughs> so, um, I go up there, I give the presentation, then we sit down, then we did, like, just a, um, so we then did semi-individual, you know, that, that, that even what you're doing there is coming up on the mic. It's this really weird noise. Tell me, ladies and gentlemen, should we swap to being an ASMR channel? It's a really odd sound, actually. It's not really what I'd expect that to sound like. Especially when you're doing that with your nail. It sounds like it sounds like a, a crappier version of... Do you know the, the instrument where it's like the frog? Yeah. I like, yeah, I, I know. Um, what I'm doing is this candle has a lid with like a bunch of little buds on the top, and I'm just running my nail through that and smoothing it with my finger on the top and then make this noise and then that noise. All right. Very nice job. Oh, so, so good. I'm gonna get my matches out. I forgot I don't have them. Never mind. So then we went through uh, to each person and this is where I think of anything because I tried to be relatively relaxed throughout the whole time but I think here I might have been a little bit too relaxed and this might have been part of what cost me the job in addition to both my age and my lack of prior work experience. Hmm. Um, and so it was just like basic questions like, okay, if you were a colleague, had problems or something like that, how would you go about resorting this? It's like, if somebody wanted uh, the free food, um, and you were friends with them, but you, it's like, what would you do? Would... And then like, sometimes questions like that, it's like, it's rigged. And then the answer is just like, oh, well, what you're supposed to do is you're, is you're supposed to shoot your friend in the face <laughs> because it's like, What? Uh, but Literally I, shoot him. We give you all guns. Just shoot. Um, so so what I ended up, I I just try to answer them more or less as honestly as possible, as opposed to like thinking critically about them. Mm. Um, <laughs> and I think that um, and uh, they the, and then this was the the thing that hurt me the most after because they like we had left and then they were like okay cool so you're going uh this is how we're gonna let you know if you got the job or not um. Uh, we're going to try to make a decision tonight, so you could very well get a phone call either today or tomorrow. I was like, okay, that's great, fantastic. So that night, I didn't get the phone call, so I was like, okay, I get it. I didn't get the job. It's, it was more or less what I was expecting. I said, okay, that's fine. And then, all of a sudden, the phone rang, and they, they wanted to confirm you that you didn't get the job. Uh, they had said that even if you didn't get the job, that they would send you an email. I still, to this date, have not received an email. Really? Thank you, Cineplex. They're like, this kid sucks. Let's not send him anything. I hope they listen to my podcast. <laughs> they probably don't. Nobody does. That's not true. I listen... I don't listen to the podcast. Exactly. This is not true. You, you know... People you know, listen to the podcast. It's 2.40 p.m. All right, a- so there's... So there's, I guess, that little story. There's my Cineplex applying story. So hopefully for anybody who who uh, is is applying to Cineplex in the future if uh, the people who work there are as as are as a uh, weird as the people that work at uh, the Cineplex near my household um you should hopefully know what you're you're looking forward to all right so next story today is something that's sadly it's it's a little bit more sad um a guy I, I'm guessing you're familiar with um Steve Ditko or I'm guessing you I'm guessing you're not familiar with Steve Ditko no which is fine because I believe that he's out of like all of the the big comic creator people the one who who doesn't get enough credit to his name so um he was uh right along there with Stan Lee a big Marvel guy uh has helped create some of the most famous um characters inside of the inside of the Marvel universe Characters like uh, Doctor Strange, Spider Man, um, Wong, who's uh, Doctor Strange's famous assistant, and a guy named Baron Mordo, who's Doctor Strange's uh, famous rival. In addition to, to many other characters, it's really honestly quite astounding for how many characters this guy has helped create, and like the fact that he's not super well known. That sucks. But um, uh, he he's passed away. I believe he was eighty seven. Stanley's ninety five. That guy should die. No, he's he's the one person. It's him and Ringo Starr 
are the only people who I want to be like immortal. Or I just want to live forever. What about Morgan Freeman? Yeah, he can die. <laughs> I don't know. There's been some stuff that have come out about him recently, and sadly, oh, like he, what? he doesn't seem as as as. Is he the next Bill Cosby? Person, I think he might be the next Bill Cosby. What? There's no, there's no. Don't worry. There's no kids involved, so we're safe there. Wait, Bill Cosby had kids? I don't know much I, about. You, you, I don't think you know what I mean. I don't. I don't know. No, I don't. No, I know what you mean. I don't know much about Bill Cosby besides he was on the Fat Albert show and That's he right. roofied girls. Yes. <laughs> uh, Dude, there's a there's a real quick side tangent. There's a there's a scene in Fat Albert where like um the teacher goes up to him like there's a new kid in, in Fat Albert's class. You've shown me this. The, and, <laughs> and like it's so funny. And the te- like at the end of class, the teacher go- goes to Fat Albert and said, "Hey, you know the new kid." He's retarded. And then, like, it zoomed, it zoomed into Fat Albert's face with, like, this weird... F- with, like, like, this <gasps> look. And I saw a video on it about these guys talking about it. It was so funny. I loved it. Let's look up Fat Albert retarded, and you'll find the clip and probably the video I'm talking about. It's, like, these two black guys and another white guy. It's so funny to watch now because you yeah. know there's no way in hell that that would be out today. ever get allowed. Like, there's no way that would be get, uh, get green-lighted today. And, like, back then, it wasn't... No way. It wasn't a... I don't think... I don't know how long ago, but, like, back then, it wasn't something for insult. It was more like a... It was an actual medical term. And to a degree, it still yeah. is. I don't know why they they changed it, mainly because it was also it was, recognized it was, as, as, as that a medical term and also... An insult. An insult. So that's why the, the main reason. That's really crazy. It's funny. There's tons of things like that. Like, have you ever seen the episode of, um... Bugs Bunny, when it's just they like do like blackface and they do black stereotypes and stuff like that, and then like, um, um, Bugs Bunny throwing around the I think he throws around the N word once, really, too. So (sighs) you go back, you watch that now, and I'm like, what is this? Yo, I'm looking that up. I I don't, I remember, I I remember he said something that was along that context, or, or at least one character did. I don't know. That that episode Bugs was Bunny says the N word. Pretty crazy. Hold on, hold on. But you can't argue with niggas. Oh, it was the Rooster guy who said it. That's mathematics, son. You can argue with me, but you can't argue with niggas. Yeah. Oh my so god. that existed. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Different world, different world. Actually, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about feminists. No, I don't. I'm like, watching... There hasn't there hasn't been anything that has happened this week that is that is worthwhile to, to complain about. And I also, was, I don't I don't want to get involved on... I've, I've just been watching a lot of... I've been, lot of I've been watching a lot of feminist videos, and it's really funny. Like, one of them was on, um... The, 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 the judge girl? Judge Judy, I think? You yeah. Right. And, like... The, like one of the girls was going up against her, like on a boyfriend about something, and then Judge Judy just destroyed her with this, with this not, with this logic, and then they left, and then he won, which was. Dude, I, I love seeing feminists getting destroyed by logic. It's great. You see, like I don't, I don't care, like where you side politically, whether you're more left wing, right. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that even means to be honest. Whatever. Um, I've heard that term so many times. I don't even know what it means. Because you got you got like um like let's take like let's take for example inside of Canada, it, it's more or less um representative of, of two different ways of thinking politically. Left is introducing new things, trying to change things, while right is is um conservative, and they're trying to sort of uh, keep things the way they are. And it's set up inside of this way where you can like depending on what problems are set up during a nation at any given time. You can choose to vote more right wing, so that way you can des- decide like, okay, here there shouldn't be any of these changes that the Sorry. other side wants right now. These changes could be dangerous right now, so we don't want them. While you could also go to the left side and be like, these changes are good for the nation, and stuff like that. And then there's other issues um, uh, where people have decided upon stuff like that as well, um, and like uh, several different um, problems have been. Shifted into different categories. 
I for, I don't I'm sorry if what I said just didn't make sense. I like I know I, it does make I sense. Checked, it I, does make sense. I no, but like during like the last ten seconds of that, I like just checked out <laughs> of what I was saying. So I would just like I would just word it, blabbing. It, it did it didn't make sense. Yo, you wanna know wanna know what a spider house do you wanna know how a spider has sex? This is important, right? Yes. Okay, so pretty much <laughs> the, the male yes. the male spider he ejaculates into a into a web sack and then the female spider eats it or shoves it up her thing. And then that happens. So if she eats it, it's just like that's nothing happens. No, no, no. No, okay. She puts it up into the equivalent of a vagina. Right. And then babies pop out. They don't. They don't eat it. That really, that that wasn't even that interesting. <laughs> no, but here's the thing: the spider like jizzes into a sack. I mean, I get. I guess that. And then it shoves it in. There's. I've heard. I've heard more interesting. Pro- like how sharks cre- have creature sex. procreation, yeah. Like how sharks have sex, where the male shark bites down on the girl shark, yeah, that one's and then really kind weird. of don't don't dolphins like rape the dolphins? I think I I think I've heard I've, a story on I've, that before too. I've heard that I th- one. Although I think it might have been I think I'm, I think I heard that from you actually one time. Though. Are we going back to this now? Is this yes. Hour playing? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna roll a dice. Okay, this will not. Be- that actually wasn't that loud. Sixteen. 16. Baby. What's your modifiers? Negative five. You suck, dude. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna um, play D and D again. I miss it. Um, next story. I'm gonna ignore what you said, although we should play D and D again. Um, you didn't. So, uh, speaking of D and D, Tanacon. D and D is no. I'll get to that later. D and D is run by a group called Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast also run a very famous card game called Don't Magic the Gathering. Don't they own? Wizards what? of the Coast owns D and D. That's right. Okay. And they also own Magic the Gathering. I didn't know that. Uh, Magic Yo, the Gathering. I'm pretty sure my I'm pretty sure the dollar store near here sells bootleg or old Magic, Magic the Gathering Gathering cards because like the back of them are old looking. Right. And yeah, like oh, there's a hundred of them for I think like two fifty. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a little sketchy. I want to buy it, but at the same time, like I don't know how to play Magic, and I don't know if these are fake or real. I have like I have something like a thousand Magic cards, although I haven't played for like a year. The last time I played was, was like a Anthony? very casual match with um, Anthony, who's also on the blo- on the blop on the Blue Poo Boys. And he lost, but he didn't lose. Um, I don't. I, I we didn't get to finish the match. But whoever had the most HP at the end of the one. I think that's what we called it at. I remember I won just because I had this. Because I, I, I run a, I had, like, um, this one spell card that was just, like, because I had, at this point, I had cleared his field, so I had this one spell card that was just, like, boom, deal, like, five damage or six damage or something, like, straight to your player. Mm. It's just, like, so there's, boom, that's, like, a quarter of your health done, right there. What's the max HP you get, ten? Um, you start off, you start off at a, a match, you, like, the, um, player, the player, has 20 HP. Okay. And then... Uh, of course, whoever gets beaten uh, down to zero first wins. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know what I want to do? I want to play an official or, Wizards of the Coast game one day. Uh, how do you mean? Like, or like, do you mean like one of the digital ones? No, like, um, like or, remember, remember Puff and Forest described it, where like, like the official game run by Wizards of the Coast. Oh yeah, yeah. Those. When you go to like um, Somewhere you else. can go to Black Knight. And Is they, it Black Knight? And, that, I, and they have those set up. Yeah, because like it may be a fun way to play like just D and D more regularly. Well, you know, like quote unquote more fun. Role playing isn't really a thing there. It's more so about just like the, the RPG. Just you're just about just about running through it. It's a little bit more combat central focused, and you don't generally do homebrew stuff. Yeah, but, you yeah, you just generally get okay. It's this my, is it's, what this is what wizards have given you this week. Have fun. Go yeah, that's what wizards. Yeah, wizards that goes. So um. Magic the Gathering had, was doing a little bit of a press release showcase on some of their new uh, their new line of cards that are set for release inside of 2019. Oh, are they still... Is Magic the Gathering still going? I thought it was like a done thing now. Oh, no. Oh, no. They, they're still going quite strong. Quite strong. Although, this year, during the pre-release show, um, there was very low turnout, record low numbers for Magic. Shit. And barely anybody showed up. Um... So uh, overall, I think there could be a few reasons to this. One, it, there could be see, simply people might be losing interest in magic, and there's have been a few controversies within the community and with the company recently. Really, like what? 
it's, there's 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 been a couple. I shouldn't say a lot, but there've been like one or two, and they're they're definitely his own separate thing. We could take like an hour to talk about those, so I don't super want to get into it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, there was that that's going on. Also, this was also the weekend. It was it was um like July fourth and stuff had just passed. Or if you're a uh, good old Canadian like ourselves, it first. was um. The, the, the first, which is Independence Day. Woot woot! For us inside of Canada. Um, I love so, Canada. So some people might just simply have been out of town. Some people might have been busy. It's during the summertime as well. you got to account for that. Some people are just, just going to be it? on vacation. Well, they just did it... Um, Live or...? Well, it was, it was actually just at your local store. Your local game store. They would send them these cards and just like, okay, here's the press release stuff. Um, don't sell them, just show them. The, do what you want with it. And they had, I'm sure they had a bunch of instructions and stuff. Um, I've never been to one of the press releases. I'm not sure if they even have have done any before this one, but I just re- I just read um, a little bit of it on just this, just like the first little bit of an article on it uh, this morning. Um, that's it's it's really a shame that um, Magic has experienced a, a loss like this. But hopefully, um, it, this is just temporary. We'll have to wait and see for the actual release of the product, though. Um, so, you know what game I'm excited for? What? None of them, <laughs> except for the remake of Inside Story. Video games suck, you guys. Although this next game that we're gonna be talking about, I'm about the traveler sucks. The story bit. sucks. The gameplay sucks. Everything sucks. The lighting is weird. The pixel light, like what the heck? It's 2018. Where are your realistic Fix graphics? Your stuff, game. Come on, Disney. Okay. Um, so- come on, game <laughs> come design. On, Nintendo. Come on, game come design. on, game designer. <laughs> Wait, I, was, I was watching um, I was watching a donkey what video. I was watching a Donkey video, and he was doing that thing where he called up a random person. And it was funny, because one of them actually recognized it was Donkey. He was like, Donkey, what are you doing? He was like, oh, shit. Yeah, it was it was a time when he called Nintendo about something. <laughs> Knack HD, come on, Nintendo. Uh, so this next story has to do with um, Smash Bros, actually. <laughs> because, um, uh, so, uh, everybody was uh, was very excited to hear that everybody was back. And personally, for me, I was I was very excited to hear that Snake was back. Because this was a character who I used Snake! to play decently largely um, in Brawl. Brawl sucks. It does suck, but Snake inside of in the context of that game was actually a really good and really fun character. I'm making that too. Ah. Now, now what you gonna, gonna do? do? Ah. All right, let's stop uh, referencing Donkey for no reason and get back to the news. Spaghetti meatballs. Spaghetti meatballs. So um. David Hayter is very famous for being the voice of Snake. He's he's the absolute he's a legend. Is he dead inside of the industry? No, he's not dead. How old is he? Uh, he's like 50, 60 something. I don't know. Is he not voicing Snake in this? Um, well, you see, he voiced um, Snake for every single game that Snake has ever been in up until Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Oh, really? When um, it wasn't even Konami that had separated him from the the project; it was just Kojima. That had sort of separated him from the project. He was just like, I'm looking for for somebody else to do it. Uh, we're expanding our horizons with this new game. And no ultimately, I was disappointed about that because I think Does David the Hater snake is the voice of Snake. Although the person who they did get to replace him did a very good job as well. Snake, snake barely even talks in the new game, I feel like. Inside of the new one, yeah. It's because it's, it's, it's a lot less of a, of a story-focused game. He's also, he's also meant to be a person who's like, quote-unquote, hurt. Mm. very badly especially during particularly this time because he had reached a point when he had been betrayed by the person who he had put his trust in the most mm. and then he was betrayed by his government then um so he had just left and he had decided to embark on his own My with the, with, with his giant decently loud with his giant ass ship and his giant peoples not giant peoples it's a bunch of peoples I don't know what you're saying, but yes. Also, Quiet and D Dog. Best no, Qu- no D Dog is the best thing D-Dog in is the any man. Metal Gear game ever. I agree. Even though I've only played the Phantom Pain. Yeah, I mean, you are correct. Also, Quiet. I don't know. She's weird. <laughs> quiet is weird. You're also correct there. Quiet. She can't talk. I'm not sure if that's a choice. Is that just a thing that you can't do? You'll see. Okay. Cool. Cool. Dude, I've not been. I'm playing so much of the Binding of Isaac. Like that game has consumed my life again. And it's also, very easy to just like waste time with. It. I love <laughs> that game. It never ends. I love that game so much. 
Dude, I've been blowing through it so hard, like, getting stuff-wise. Oh, yeah? I'm amazing. <laughs> I I don't mean to brag, but I am the best. Here's the secret. The Reset until you get a good item. <laughs> yeah. Just just keep trying. Just don't don't even bother. Don't and if you're a PC with... user, just hold R. What is it? Uh, what's that button? Reset. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, hold it. And then, like, oh my, I used to do that. All, um, there's an item called Epic Hack that makes you like puke up explosive tears. Oh god. And so what I would do is I just pick a character, keep resetting until the item room was until right next to me, and then I got that item. Okay. It took me like ten minutes every time. All right. So <laughs> now after. Um, David Hayter has has left the project as Snake. He will be returning to reprise his legendary role as Snake inside of Smash Bros. Ultimate. They've already got him in to do the voice lines. Um, It'll be cool. It'll be cool. You know how Palutena does the thing? You see? And then, like, is, is, is that going to be the same thing with Snake and... You see, Snake used to do that inside Snake, of Brawl. Yeah, Snake used to do that in Brawl. He would, he would answer his codec calls, and then it would be people from Metal Gear Solid 1. That would um, pick up, and they would tell him about the the character that he's currently fighting. Snake, watch out for Wario. He also attacks using his farts. So this, <laughs> that's, he, he by far has the best one. He's that's the farts. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so weird. I wish I wasn't. <laughs> he can also use his farts to fly. What? What? This is not possible. Fidget spinners. Thank you, John. It yeah, destroyed well. everybody's ears. I'm sure. I actually, I actually don't think it wasn't that bad. Can you hear that? Nope. Oh. <laughs> well then. Th- now Can this, you hear this? Now, now for anybody besides me and you, this makes no sense what's going on here anymore. Yeah! Let's stop this. We're very professional on, on the broadcast. Only only the best. Alright, so David Hayter's coming back as Snake. Yay! Um, this, this does pose the question, though, if they are going to be doing the codec calls again. And Dude, that are so many characters. They're definitely... He's going to have to do it for so many characters. Um... Uh, I wonder if Palutena's still going to do that. I wonder if that's even going to be a thing anymore. Uh, I'm sure it will be. I'm sure it will be. I hope so. I hope so. Because those, those are, in my eyes, some of the funniest like things that have come out of Smash. Yeah. I think my... F- Actually, no. I just Those are really enjoyable, and that's really cool. Like, it's really cool detail. Especially for, like, both of those games where they like, constantly talk to each other. Exactly. It, it just it makes sense. Yeah. Alright, so, um, the next thing... That we are talking about it's is Tanacon. Tanacon! Yay! What happened here? Um, Why did it all go so wrong? Because she's stupid. That's definitely a big part of it. Also, the other guy, what's his name, Michael, or whatever? I don't know. I don't know much about it besides the video. It says the one video I watched. So, essentially, um, there was this This video was sponsored by Tunnel Bear. That was going on. Um, I was being set up uh, by famous content creator... Tana Mongoloid or Tana Mojo, however you pronounce it. Is she is she part of Watch Mojo? No. What? They just have similar last names. What? And they're making knock two. Ah! Interesting sound effect. I'm I'm not sure if I would pair that with that, but. And they're making knock two. We could totally do ASMR with just this one bottle. Guys, put in the comments right now if you want us to do ASMR is, with is, just this one bottle. Is this is this smooth? Is this soothing? It's it's a candle. It's like it's can it's a candle that has a lid, and I was playing just, with this. You're just, you're just messing with the bottle. You're not really messing with it. The candle. There you go. Now now there it is. There is. Got to got to get the candle in there as well. Hold on, wait, hold on. Oh, that was painful. <laughs> at, at least I found it. The uh, the actual audio might be a little bit and different. Like all right, so um, she was setting this up because she was displeased with um, her previous VidCon experience. And to be fair, I think there were some problems with how um, both uh, with with just generally how that situation was handled, especially was, with Tana last was it, year. Was it told that? Was it told the reason why she got kicked out? Um, I, she told a story about it on on her channel. No, oh, fuck her channel. I hate her channel so much. Apparently she, I, got, apparently she got screwed by a dog. I will... Oh, wow. That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to set up the precedence right now that I do not like Tana. I think she's a very... I think that she's just kind of generally a bad person. And... I got to the list of people I should keep on... I should look out for drama for. Exactly. She's all. She's always been involved in that. She's always had... So my list is the Pauls. They're number one. Rice gum. Although I think they've chilled. They've chilled out a little. No, they haven't. Rice gum. 
But I mean, think about it. Have you heard? Have you heard anything really the besides fight? Uh, over the over the past couple months? The fight. I mean, besides you know the legend leaving. But I mean, that was just. I think although that was like that wasn't even super drama. That was just like a different. You know, it's funny mindset, and a when bunch he, of people are disappointed because he's um, mean. The note that he left, um, Nick Crompton. I read it. Yeah, I I've read they, it. They they um team time made a response note saying well, he's everything and what they were expecting from him like sounded cultish it was very I know, I know they have this weird like uh they do talk about loyalty a lot they did they brought it up like with the martinez twins and stuff like that yo the martinez twins has such a good reason to leave oh yeah, that was like jake jake was undeniably a complete douche to them like what the heck and dude? they stole money from them which i'm pretty i, I they should have sued them or like something because that's something. highly illegal i'm yeah. guessing yeah, there's no way. There's, there's, there has, there's some like something going on there that had to be illegal, definitely, without a doubt. Yeah. And Tana Khan is just so. She was creating her own convention. Uh, she essentially she tried to set it up. I think within three months, it was um running. It was uh, it was during the same week that VidCon was. There was no food, no um, water. Okay, Everyone well we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute. So I'm so excited. She had booked. 5,000 people. Okay. And there was about there was about 5,000 people who showed up. She made the claim that there was 15,000 people that were there. That's which bullshit. is not true. That's bullshit. There was 5,000 there. The hotel that she was running the event in, and she knew this beforehand, we have confirmed that she knew this beforehand, could only fit 1,250 people. I think it's 1,250. I'm sorry if my numbers are wrong there. But that, that's the, that was the whole amount. So they overbooked like, on purpose. Why? I don't know. Why? And um, to make it to make it worse, did someone get injured? Several people got injured. Several people were passing out. Uh, there was injuries. Pretty much everybody who didn't get in um, right away uh, got heavily sunburned and stuff like that. Overall, there was definitely tons of safety hazards, tons of of, of just things that were were not the bestly planned out. I'm pretty sure someone. They they can sue. I'm pretty sure the people. They they prob they definitely they most certainly can. If they don't, then that then something they paid off. She probably got paid. But you see, like they're now okay. I'll get to I'll get to it in a minute. Okay. So um, essentially uh because of there was there were tons tons of things that were wrong. One, they were overbooked. Yes. Two, guests were supposed to show up there that never showed. <laughs> One of the biggest people that were promised there was Shane Dawson, who is an absolutely huge YouTuber, uh, has been around Who's for he? a really long time. I know Shane Dawson does. He's gay. And I, don't, I don't know what content he makes. Um, I, I've watched a couple of uh, videos of him explaining conspiracy theories. But He's friends about... with Jake Paul. I mean, not, not Jake Paul. Um, uh, Jack Holmes. He's friends with everybody. He just seems like a super nice, uh, likable guy. He's absolutely huge on YouTube. He was promised to be there, which is a pretty big deal because he hasn't been out to any conventions like this. Like, say, for example, VidCon. He hadn't been out to VidCon since the, the first VidCon. Oh, shit, sure, really? So, um, when was the first VidCon? Like, what year was that? I believe I believe this year was the 6th or 7th VidCon. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder what the longest convention has ever been held. Like... Most has been around. Like the longest has been around. Oh, like well, I don't know the fad. The fishing convention. The know. the convention has been around more or less since like. Connection. Well, like the the conventions as, that we know it as now have been around since maybe about like the fifties, forties or so, is when like the how the modern con culture was really starting to form, and it, wow, that was really weird. What was that even? Is this? Oh, okay. It was a bottle cap, a water bottle cap. All right, all right. So let's, overall, let's... there's all these huge problems with it, and no one all this up. information came out afterwards. And now, this is the part that I want to mainly talk about now. The boss baby. So she's <laughs> what? So she's so she's essentially being um, playing the blame game. It no, was Tana. It was it was it was never her fault. Of course it wasn't. And um, she was she was blaming it on the guy who was hosting the event. The guy who was hosting the event said, "It's it's not my fault. It was my first time ever hosting an event like this. I didn't know what I was doing." First of all, both of them are at fault because if they overbooked, that's stupid. 
they both knew all of this going in. Like, why? That's so dumb. Why would you do that? Having something as simple as passing around water, which would be needed on a day like that, yeah. would have made the situation at least a little bit more acceptable. But there was there was nothing going on there. No food. There no was water. no food, no water, barely any guests. There wasn't stuff showing. Like, there was supposed to be a couple bands and stuff that were to play. I don't think they played, like, ever. Like, <laughs> at all. God knows. I, I don't even know if they showed up. So... I I haven't I haven't I'm gonna be honest, okay, you guys. I haven't done a super ton of research, and it's yeah, just either. because there's been a lot of stuff that have been coming out over the past couple of weeks, and like we learn new stuff more or less every day. So they started. Just... They've started. As far as I know, they're giving out refunds now, which is a good thing because that's very well deserved. Because during all this chaos and all of this was happening, they had they had no other choice but to cancel the event. Except for people who got injured, which I'm assuming they'll sue. If they don't, then that's dumb. They should sue, and they're eligible to do that. I remember I was reading one article that said that these people were at that at this point eligible to, to do so. Um, overall, my my point is like I I can't believe that they just can't suck it up, take the bullet, take the L. Yeah. You have messed up. You are adults. People are saying, people are like, uh, like uh, the media and stuff are trying to cover them, like on the articles that I'm reading. It's just like, it's okay. They're young. They're, they're, they're kids. They're just trying to do this. Um, they, they didn't, they weren't prepared. No, How this had been planned out for quite some time. Yeah, it was, months. it was more than enough for, for them to, to really have gone. I still, I, I still get my, I still can't, like, fathom any reason why they would willingly go to a place that they know that can't fit the amount of people they're expecting to come. That's so dumb. Like, why? The reason why she did it was because she essentially just wanted to say one big screw you to VidCon. And now VidCon is definitely the one who's laughing because unlike TanaCon, people didn't... people. There was no ambulances being thrown around. Uh, there was no, uh, there was no uh, medical care that was needed to be taken. Um, I, I just remembered, I forgot to talk about this earlier, but also apparently security was a really big issue. Like, apparently VidCon each year spends, like, thousands on on security. And then Tana spent, like, 8000 <laughs> on security. And people were just stealing VIP passes because they were just laying around. So people yeah. were just like, boop, 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 boop. okay, I'm going in now. That's funny. Like, wow. That's funny. So the convention, a huge flop. The backlash that um, they've, that both, that everybody involved has been taken because of this. They they've been just trying to dodge the bullet, and that aggravates me because it's. It was very much their fault. You have to accept it that it was it was your fault. It was their fault. It it makes me mad. So let's talk about something. Also, Sean Sean the guy made a documentary about that. Yeah, uh, he did. I I watched a little bit of that too. It's it's always funny because it's so clear that Sean throughout the whole time. Just being so overdramatic. Yeah. Overselling everything constantly, like every other scene. And then there's also the one part when he meets Tana after the event for the first time. And then she's just like bawling like while trying to talk to him. And it's like she's not speaking English and Sean's just in there like, yep, I know. It's okay. It's okay. And that goes to show you that Sean's the nicest guy. Fuck because Sean. Tana, who is, an, who is an idiot. She's racist. I don't know that. I'm joking. She's not racist. But she, I don't know. The whole situation is, is just screwed up, and it makes it makes me mad. So as I was saying, let's move on now. My microphone has a little hat. Yes, thank you, John, for that. That's this is very good. This will up. I think I think that this is this. That is should our, be the thumbnail. It's the best. This is the best pop filter that I think we've. That should be the thumbnail. Wait, I'm gonna take a no. That's that's me. I'm gonna take a picture. It's gonna be the thumbnail. Let me get it. Let me get it clearer. There we go. Thank you. I'll email, I'll email that to you and you're going to make it the thumbnail. If you don't make it the thumbnail, it'll be bad. I'll make it a part of the thumbnail. It'll be like our new setup. <laughs> this is our new pop filter right here. It's it's uh, it's it's uh, well beyond industry standard. This has actually been um, developed by Google for for, <laughs> thir- by, for for 10 years. They've been, they've been working. It makes your voice sound like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Uh, is it is it working, you guys? Put in the comments if it's working. Are we are we Morgan Freeman now? <laughs> okay, so uh, let's talk about some let's talk about some other news. So um, over the past couple of weeks, 
uh, we got an announcement of a new Overwatch hero. This is what, number 28? Yes, 28. Is it 28? It's a um, hamster. It's a hamster, which some people have been Predicting. both upset about, and some people are happy about it. Um, he's hardly my favorite character that I'm they've not, implemented. Is he even out yet? I have not played Overwatch in he's a while. Not, he's not out yet. For consoles, at least. At least as far as I know, because I haven't played Overwatch for like a I week know, now. Yeah. Usually the way the hero works is that PC will get them first. Like yes, in they always do. And then like once like everything's finalized and all the patches are in and like everything is smooth, they'll put it the in the characters. Console. Yeah, once the character is like working and stuff, then it's good to go. So Dude, this I, guy I haven't played Overwatch in like a month. Like I don't know, I can't get like I've been playing it for so long now. It's like, kind of like eh. yeah, which is like once you get into it, it's just like it's just another match. It's like yeah. Yeah, that's why I uh, and I feel bad because some of my like two of my friends love Overwatch. I'm like I I want to play it, but at the same time I don't want to, because that's the only multiplayer game I have. Right. I I don't play too many multiplayer games either. You mean either? I play about I play I got an Overwatch recently. I play Battlefield generally when it comes out. <laughs> Although I I played, I played I played one when it first came out. Then I just never picked up any of the DLC. I don't even know why. It's not like it didn't look interesting to me. I would always see the trailer and I'd be like, "Dang, that looks so dope!" Then it would come out and I'd just be like, nah. "I'm not paying for this." Bam, so uh, we got Hammond, aka uh, Wrecking Ball, as the yes. as the new hero in Overwatch. Have you seen the outrage that's been going on on like Reddit, no, and Twitter and stuff like that? People are going nuts because. Um, the people in the community they want they want a black woman. That <laughs> they have two. One of them is Mexican, and the other is an Indian. Um, no, but John, those they don't count. Yeah, they, they want do. a black female. From where? Wh- who are who are all the black females supposed to look up to? Eh. Um. Who are they supposed to look up? Other black strong females like the one in Black Panther. Shut up. <laughs> okay. See, I I never get this point about forced. Diversity, like diversity, even it's, it's even good. in games or in general, it's good. But like and when think, you're forcing it, it's kind of. I like... think Overwatch does it inside of a really good way because it's just like these characters, and they all come from these different places and these different regions, and there's no there's no real like stereotyping mm. involved like that. It's not meant to be done in in, in a in an awful way. It's it doesn't feel very forced at all because these characters are all still unique within their own right, and then they also have their own cultures and backgrounds. And stuff like that. So I've I've always liked what they're doing here. But if you're just to say like I I hate him and it's it, like are you kidding me? It's a hamster. We want a black woman. You don't need to have a black woman. Like a black a a black. If if a a, a child who plays Overwatch is looking for somebody to look up to, they don't necessarily need to have somebody who's the same gender as them, who's the same skin color as them, to look up to. Heroes can be found in anybody. Even a hamster who's been genetically modified to be smart as hell. Exactly. I, I, I lo- see, I love that idea, cause just because it reminds me of my um, favorite guilty pleasure movie, G-Force. <laughs> you have bad taste in movies. It's not true. <laughs> Child me had bad taste in movies. I didn't I didn't even like like ever watch any like trash movies and stuff like that. Like a lot of people like don't like uh, like Cat in the Hat and stuff and I I know that like, we've talked about this a lot in person too. Yeah. What are you doing to? I'm, I'm moving the chair so I can move in closer cuz it's weird it's freaking okay. me out. Okay. It's yeah. It's fine. Go cuz the ta- cuz the chairs is like out on the floor and right. also the other half is on the carpet and that's annoying me. So I'm just kind of moving everything around so it's all <laughs> So like it, like do you think I'm right on that? Oh Jesus. I had so do you think I'm right on that? Right like, on what? About, like, just, like, that uh, diversity, like, in that way shouldn't, isn't needed, and yeah. that, uh, well, like, I mean, like, I'm not saying that we don't need a, we don't, I, I don't want a black woman, if you think I'm saying that. We're not saying that. It's just, are, like, you are retard. It's just people, so, it's just people that are trying to force diversity onto a game, where it's like, whatever, who cares? it's like, the, the game's already diverse enough, like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's so comfortable. Really at the end of the day. It doesn't matter. There's even a gay person. <laughs> I'm sure there's tons of gay people inside of games. It's like, <laughs> who cares? It's funny. I think, also, I've seen so many memes on the new hero. Yeah, I know. Like, what, there's a hamster in an anime, I forget yeah. his name, but people have, like, drawn him with the, his with, thing. Yeah, yeah. I've shown you it. 
Uh, I, I, maybe you've shown me it, but I've definitely seen stuff like that. Here, let me try looking at it. Let me try looking at it. So, um. But anyways, when that, when he comes out, I might play the game. Probably not. I'll definitely give him a try. Because I, I play tank for the most part anyways, and he's a new tank hero. We have not, we have not gotten any new defense heroes ever. Ever. Period. Although, That's... although defense doesn't exist anymore. And so you off... can't say that. No, I can't still say that. Shut up. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it, that's it. Um, um, the picture I just showed Josh is like a hamster in a hamster ball with two guns like taped onto it. Can you save that at all? Yes, I can. Okay, so then save that, then email it to me, and I'll put it up around this time. This is the one, this is the one I was talking about. Yes. I'll send you this one also. It should be appearing right now. Now. Nah. Good luck finding that. Okay. So, God, um, Wrecking Ball, see, the thing about, I, I, I suppose, like, the character himself seems fun, but I've, I've also, I can, I fi kind of find his, his design a little lazy, like, I don't, I don't find there being too much unique about the mech that he sits in, even though it's, it's a ball, it would have been, I suppose, a little bit more cooler if it was, like, hamster ball-like, perhaps, although that's just only one of many options that they could have gone for. And I mean the the creative teams at Overwatch, like when I've I've picked up the game, I only picked it up relatively recently, and I've been blown away at the at the stuff that they've been yeah, they capable put a lot of, of they, creating. They put a lot of detail into this. They things. have there's a ton of detail, both lore wise, design wise. What do you expect? It's made by Blizzard, the behemoths themselves. I, I know, I know. That's why I just I remember here like this game getting announced for the first time, and because I've I've never been. One, I've never been too huge on shooters. There have been like several shooter games that I love, like Battlefield and Halo. Are probably my favorite ones. And then, um, but besides that, I've never been super into them. So I wasn't, I wasn't super into, especially the idea of a hero shooter. I was like, okay, that's cool, and the characters definitely look cool, but something for me, no. But and I've played it now and I and I love it now. But um, where was I going with this? Um, I don't know. They put they put a lot of details into the games. Yes. So uh, so uh, I don't know. Just to me, to me personally, his design and his uh, character is almost a little bit disappointing because I I don't know. I just expect a little bit more. Okay, that's interesting. What, Let's what, talk what? about another thing that I love. Idiots are idiots. Nobody likes them, uh, but we all love to hate them. And, no one likes me then. Um, it's it's also the best when um, idiots fight each other because there's you get a point. You get to a point when it doesn't matter who wins. No matter what happens, it's gonna be a good time. Um, We're talking about. So today we're gonna be talking about uh, the the new the new uh, meat on the block. That's not a saying that people use. It no. doesn't make sense even. It does, it does not make sense. But it's the new meat on the block. This is um, the the Logan vs. KSI slash Jake Paul oh, this. vs. Um, Comedy Shorts Gamer versus Jake Paul fight, and also um, their dad's in there. He was going to be. In he there. was going to be in there, but then he was like, "That's so. That's so. It's like okay. This analogy is from um, an animator. I forgot his name. Ah, let me try to find it. Okay, he's I'll the Romanian animator. That's enough. Enough said. People can find him. No. He's also more or less like has the number one viewed video on this topic right now anyways, so. Hold on, what's his name? Say his name out loud because I can't read that. It's Andrew Turbea? I, I don't know. If okay, so how you spell is A-N-D-R-E-I-T-E-R-B-E-A. So congratulations to the, the, the two people who have stuck it out this far. Mm -hmm. You can now subscribe to that guy. He's cool. Anyways, it's... Also, thank you for sticking around. It, it Thank you. It means so much to me that you would watch my video. Oh, hi, Mark. Alright, anyways. So, that's happening. They had the they had the little talk. They had the, the quote-unquote press conference, although the, if it, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was so much of a press conference because there wasn't really press there. It was, it was more or less just um 13-year-old... Uh, guys and girls that have shown up to watch two horribly sad grown men bicker amongst each other. Yeah, totally. 
So also, have you seen the H three thing about this? It was like uh, I saw them talk about. I I was listening to their podcast. They said like um, I heard them talk about it there. They said like um, they're obviously playing a role, and you wouldn't. Oh yeah, and like it wouldn't be surprising if they like called up each other like talking about how they're gonna do this. Like, yeah, I I have no doubt that they're good friends, hmm. or at least or at least that they're acquainted. Mutual have, friends in business. I have a feeling that they have like they have no beef with each other, like zero percent beef. Zero percent beef. What are we, McDonald's? In word word zero percent beef. That's McDonald's in India. Because they don't. That's right. They're all vegans. No. No, they're all vegetarians. <laughs> they just for don't. Cows. They just yes, <laughs> they're vegetarians, specifically for cow. There is no animal as holy. Can you hear this? Jesus. Um. Yes, actually, I we can hear that. Can you hear this? Yes, actually. How loud was that? It was decently loud. Can you hear this? Yes. Can Can you hear this? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Anything else we want to try? Uh. We can confirm, ladies and gentlemen, that the mic. You already did that, RA John. Thank you for that. <laughs> no, the pop filter. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> How are we supposed to sound like Morgan Freeman? There we go. There we go. There we go. It looks like he's wearing a fedora. All right, now it's back to Morgan Freeman. Thriller night, the fight in for your life. All right, let's go. Copyright is a problem. I'm singing the um, postmodern jukebox version that you hate. Oh, I don't, I don't hate it. You just hated me singing it over and over again. Yes, that was fun. <laughs> All right, let's go. Um, so, um, Wait, how long has this been going on for? First of all, it's been like a little over an hour, I think. Yeah. Hello. Maybe maybe not for like the actual episode, but for the audio recording, it's been a little bit more than now. All right, so um, let's uh let's quickly talk about this. So this press conference, I I know we're I know we're late to the subject. Like at this point, this happened like a month ago, but I don't care because this is still worth talking about because this is so it's this, fun. This was so unbelievably stupid that it was funny. Yeah. So, um, the first thing that happens at the press conference, um, you got, you got little bro Jakey stepping up on the plate, thrown down against Deji. Now, um, Jakey being the a-hole that he is, um, is out there with a ton of confidence, immediately thrown down on Deji, um, talking, he's talking trash on his clothes because God knows there's, there, there ain't nothing that gets under your skin more. Then saying, "What's the matter? You ain't you ain't wearing Gucci. You ain't you ain't you ain't got that designer stuff. What's wrong with you, bro? What are you? What are you poor? What what's the, what's the matter? You ain't got money. That is that is that what he said? That stings deep. No, but essentially, he, what he what he said was like he was just like, "What are you wearing?" Then Deji's like, "Don't hate on me. It's tank. That's my British, by the way. Well, is he British? I, I can do I I can do British decently well, but I can't I can't do." Deji decently well. That that specific type of dude. I've n- I I don't know anything about KSI besides he used to play FIFA and also he's um he yells. Yes, he does that a lot actually. I even know he had a brother. He doesn't play FIFA anymore though. Yeah, he doesn't anymore. Also, because he's developed because he's he's cool now and he and he thinks he can rap. <laughs> Take a drink of water because he was it's so salty. Anyways, um, I've I've heard I've heard things saying that Deji KSI's brother. Will not win. A lot of people have said that. Even his yeah. friends have said that. Yeah, even like um, his two friends, Rice Gum and and Keemstar. Keemstar. Okay, you say that it's like his, those are his only two friends. But like um, it, uh, a couple people that were on there, they even said they were like, "Bro, I'm friends with you, but like, uh, Keem has admitted to having money on the other team." <laughs> yeah. Damn, my dude. You better fail. It's like I, the mafia. You better go down in the and first that so, um, then Deji tries to step up, but he never really could ever again. Um, and Jake, he- Jake did this thing during this whole time when he would just, like, while Deji would, like, try to come back at him with something, then Jake would just sort of, like, pull up the microphone, get in real close, and just go, Walmart! Oh, yeah. Walmart! Walmart! And he would, and he would just repeat that. Walmart. Oh no, the fedora. <laughs> God damn it. Got it. Let me see if I can find 
Or no, that wouldn't work anyways. Never mind. Never wait, hold on. Did. Wait, hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Can we go double pop filter? <gasps> now we're going to sound two times like Morgan Freeman. No, we're going to sound like Bill Cosby. Is that is that what you get? <laughs> Alright, I'll send you that later. Wait, fidget spinner. No, too much. So that happens. Now we get to the big, the big boys come out. KSI comes up on stage looking like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But he's just like, he's just dressed up in this outfit. When I look at him, I'm just like, who are you? <laughs> So he's, he comes out there, um, uh, he sits down, um, Logan comes out, um, uh, Logan more or less, um, comes out swinging right away too, um, but immediately once he does so, now that his older brother is here, Deji grows a little bit of a backbone, and he starts stepping up as well, and he just starts saying, F, uh, he starts saying like, uh, he's like, I think he said F Jake Paul or F Logan Paul or something like that, and then he was like starting a chant with the crowd. Um, so, and then, and then the KSI would just kind of, like, tap them on the shoulder, like, stop, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is how we script it. Follow the script. This is so, so cringy. So cringy. So then they eventually show up. They have, they have gifts for each other. This is, like, there's, there's exactly, um, Logan said, I think during the whole time, um, uh, Logan, Logan was going in with his, with his, with his, absolute most powerful material completely roasted him KSI's career is going to be done after this <laughs> I joke of course because the only thing that he more or less talked about was dick jokes who KSI or Logan? Logan <laughs> nah, of course. he was saying stuff like I'm vegan so I know a baby carrot when I see one I can see that now that you're looking me in the eyes today you've grown a little bit of a dick although I know it's a small one it's just the most Stupid, stupid stuff. I wonder if they fight to be like. I wonder if like. I wonder if like the fight even happens. Like we made up, we're done. No, it will happen because it, it will get them. It will get them so many viewers, so yeah. so much money. It's gonna be so good. Here comes the money. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. All they care about. Money, money, money. Tala, 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 tala. I'm Are ashy. You good with that. <laughs> I'm ashy. Yeah. My nose is peeling. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I have sunburns. So that's like when a wild water yeah, works. Yeah. It's fun. I almost drowned. I didn't. <laughs> it's fun. I died twice, but it was fun. <laughs> Can you swim? What? Can you swim? Yes. Yes. I have, I have a pool in my backyard, John. That's right. No, I can't swim. Albeit, it's, it's, it's a... You, you, just, you just jumped off that bridge for, um, for no reason. Yeah, uh, yeah. We went to the thing to get. You've seen me swim. <laughs> yeah, you've seen. Dude, me swim. that's okay. Um, <laughs> for people for people who don't know, I've told this. I've told this story on the on the Black Boys before. Although nobody watched my Let's Plays, like like two people did. So, but um, Noah, our good friend Haldrick, our friend. We can he, call him <laughs> Noah. We've called him Noah on the Parappan the series. Oh yeah, right. Okay, Noah, the person who's on the Parappan is going to be on our future live streams. He invited us over for his birthday. We stepped over and we went to this lake with like a with like a cliff dive, and the and like we all went on it. I, I went off it first. I was like, screw it. And I forget I, what you call it, but it's like a man made lake. Jesus, it's a man made like, lake. It's a, it's a man made lake. It's a man made lake. They sink. They sunk a ship in a bus. For like scuba divers, like go down there and just look at it. And apparently, there's a mine down there. It's only for like experienced people to go down. That was cool, but um, there was a giant cliff, like a a, a jumping board. But it was just a plank of wood because, like, that high, if you, like, jump, it's going to hurt a yeah. lot more. Yeah. And at one point, like, all of us went on off it. Off it. I was the first one. I, I just kind of went down. Yeah, I remember that. You, I, 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 did, I didn't miss it happen. But you didn't, like, announce it or anything. You I was were just kind of, I like, was kinda like... I was kind of like... I was like... I was like... Don't I go! go. <laughs> and to be fair, when I finally got up there, that's more or less what I was like, too. I was just like, here we go! <laughs> And, like, there was a kid there trying, like, yeah, dude, it's, like, at first time it's gonna feel weird. And when I went up, I was like, yeah, that's how it feels like. He was, like, it was a very, like, it was, like, a little kid. And it was, like, he was nice. But, yeah, dude, he was, that was a nice kid. That was, was, I remember. And, like, um, it was funny. Because Noah's dad was, like, where'd Jonathan go? 
Oh, he's down there. He's cool. down there. <laughs> uh, oh, he jumped? Oh! <laughs> I should have announced it. I should watch these children a bit more than I am. Nah, he's he's super nice. Yes. And plus, we're we're 15. We can look after ourselves. <laughs> I'm I'm more or less... I think out of all of us, I think you're the most... A trained res- expert. I think out of all of us, I think you will probably know is most responsible out of our group. Right, yeah. Anyways, but um, I remember at one point, near like, I think the middle... We went back to the... We, we, were, we were just swimming for a while, and then we went back to the dock. And you jumped off? Because, like, I didn't want to go off again, because I hate the feeling I got. And then... Yeah, like, you did it, like, three times, so you were just like, yeah, I'm done. I'm like, yeah, fair. Although, I, I only did it once when I was up there, so I was like, I'm going again. There was a... Yeah, there was one I point... Gotta, I gotta do There was one again. point where you did it again, and then all... And then we didn't look down, like, because I was ready to go on, because someone was pushed me. And then, like, all I hear is, like, this giant... Yeah. Slap! And I was like, oh, God... Is he okay? Like, what did you land on your back? You're like, how 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 did that happen? I didn't even ask you. I came on. It was sort of awkwardly uh, half on my back. <laughs> oh. Although I felt it a lot on my private regions too. Oh, that sucks. So uh, I was in pain for about five minutes. But either way, it was still fun. <laughs> it was still fun. When going he got down. up, you didn't talk. When he got up, you like didn't say anything. <laughs> You're just like, I'm. This hurts. I, th- I because I I was even thinking about that when I was in the water too. I was like, okay, how do I how do I? The, nothing in my life is serious. <laughs> the only thing that exists inside of Joshism is is jokes. <laughs> That's my religion. <laughs> Mine's memeism. Memeism. It's it's very similar to Joshism. <laughs> Except uh, it's uh, I'm the only the only uh, member is me, and I sacrifice goats and I eat them to 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 worship me. Right. Right. Um. So back to the, this business. Um. So uh, then Logan, uh, not Logan, uh, KSI uh, pulls out these um, pokeballs. Not pokeballs. Uh, he pulls out um, the aliens from uh, Toy Story oh. in reference to the hat that yeah. he was wearing during that video. The suicide. Um. Yes. Um. So he was like, that was that was also one that was um, pretty good. Uh, that was only one of the other even decently good roasts. And then they, then the 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 Pauls come up and they're like, we got a gift too. And this is how you can tell it was set up. So they pulled out a poster. And then they're just they just stomp on it. It's like, what 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 was that? What was the poster? What was the poster? It was a poster of KSI's face. <laughs> and they were just like boom 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 boom. And it's like okay great. That's dumb. Ooh, wow, savage, real real good, you guys. Cause I, I'm a savage. I hate that term. I hate that term like so much. He's a savage. He's a sa- like every time I hear that word, I imagine the um. I, I always think of the um, the news going yeah, to like interview the interview with the the like the thirteen year old girl. <laughs> this he's savage. He's savage. Yeah, just dab. <laughs> Thank God. Kill yourself. You know what's funny? I still dab, but but ironically. Ironically. Ironically, not unironically. Um, so I still listen. Who took off the bottle caps? Then they had it. They did a thing when it was um, having trouble there. There we okay. go. That's the one. Can we get the two? Yeah. Okay. So um, then after this, they had uh, brought out this um, toilet paper with KSI's face on it, and they were tossing it out to their fans because obviously this was in LA. So of course you're going to be seeing uh, a lot more of the Pauls fans there. Hmm. However, when they actually do the fight, the first fight is going to be in the UK. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of, of KSI's and Deji's fans. So, to the Pauls, enjoy yourself now. But, but and like, but you're going to get a lot, you're, you're going to lose a lot of subscribers in like five days, and then get it all back in like a week. I don't think that they'll ever like, lose subs, period. I think that like, during that period, they will only gain. Yeah. But it's like, if they lose, they'll lose subs. Like after like a, a few days, looking back. So here's the thing. It's so dumb. Like I don't understand why these. I hate it's like, almost everybody involved. Yeah. Except for Deji, who I'm neutral on. Who's Deji? I don't even know who that is. Um, KSI's little brother. I know his little brother. What does he do? Um, he, I think he does the like the same thing that his brother does. Yell a lot and make dumb jokes. Yeah. Although I don't, I don't think he does diss tracks like his brother does. So um. Can you hear this? Yes. Yes, I can, John. How loud? It's noticeable. Do you enjoy yourself? Yes, I do. Can you hear this? Yes. What? Oh, can you hear this? And and to be fair, yes. What? And to be fair, I can. That might be different for like Hold the on. actual can, audio. Can you hear this? 
I don't want to throw this. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 technical difficulties. Can't, I don't want to throw my DS. I don't want to throw this. Can- okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, God! No! <laughs> just, just forget him. For no! Now. Him. Okay, at least put put one on. There, there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> so, I want, I want... I want Deji to beat the crap out of Jake Paul because he I won't. want I want uh, somebody to put Jake Paul in his, in his place. place. Yes, that's not gonna happen because I, he hasn't been working out that much. What if and Ian Jake's was there? Simply stronger than what if Ian? Ian? What if Ian was there from Idubs? Oh, Idubs! I what if Idubs is there? He was <laughs> that'd be funny. Do you remember the one time when he was gonna box Jinx? Like he actually then, like he trained though, and yeah. Jinx has never showed. The Jinx was just like no, no. <sighs> I, I bet Jinx would have won because he he looks stronger. But I don't yeah. know. He 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 would have won, but Jinx was just he just never showed up. God bless. R- rest in peace, Papa, Jinx. Papa, You're dead. Papa bless. Papa bless. So um. Can I come on, Sody Pops? Uh, so that's that's what I would like to see out of that match. When it comes to Logan versus KSI, I hate both of the people that are involved, but. I, I hate, actually, I hate, I hate, I hate the Paul family. I have no idea who KS. I know who KS is, but I'm like, I as don't much as as much as Logan obviously has been in quite a bit of trouble recently. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hate KSI like so much. He's just so egotistical, and he just it's so clear that he just loves himself. Didn't he? Didn't he make a video saying I want to go back to like how YouTube originally was, and then he made a tweet saying, "Yeah, I'm done with that." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's funny. He made he made a video. He was so. This is hypocrisy at its finest. He made a video one day, and it was like, I I um I hate what YouTube is becoming. It's just so um, there's so many diss tracks and reaction define her, videos. Define hypocrisy. Here's the definition of hypocrisy: the practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform. Pretense. <coughs> okay. So essentially, you say that you uh, believe in something, but your actions are—it's just a that. definition. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Um. So he said he said that he hated the way that YouTube is now with the show. And then two months later, he was like, he was like, okay, and because of this, I'm gonna take a break. He comes back and he's doing those exact same videos. <laughs> he's doing those exact same videos. Cause it pays the money, honey. I don't know. I it, there are two things that get me very frustrated. Stupidity and hypocrisy. And KSI is both was during that time both. Very much so both. And and he was very good at it too. So, um I would love to see Logan Paul just beat the ever leveling hell out of KSI, which I would just like to see that. I feel like um, KSI is the lesser yeah. of two evils. Yeah, I would I would say that. Or, I or, hope KSI just fucking. Or, oh, uh, it uh, that's what uh, I I honestly don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Especially, I mean, it's it's no secret that Logan was an, was an idiot for uploading that video, yep. and like and just the fact that he kind of yeah. wanted to get over it was like was an immature way to handle it. But is he an evil person? Probably. I don't think so. I think that I don't think that he's a good person, but I don't think that he's evil either. I just I think that KSI is just kind of a douche. I think it, I think it, like this has definitely got to him. The, I think yeah, especially. Yeah. I feel like Jay Paul is just like a. He's like, right, a, anyways, he's like a force of nature. He's not even like a person. Let's get let's get back to um, what this channel is all about. Octopath Traveler. All right, so let's let's talk about um. This is gonna be the last story of today. Then we're gonna end off um. So big uh, event inside of comic books actually this week um. Or not this week. I think it was last week. Would it be? Yeah, it was last week now. Um, so, last week on Wednesday, we saw the release of Batman number 50, The Wedding. You so, getting married to who? Black Widow? Uh, not Black Widow. Black Cat? Uh, Black Cat. Uh, yeah. Uh, Catwoman. Um, um, Robin? Yes. Go, go Robin? <laughs> All Robins. Um, <laughs> All. A Batgirl? Even his son. I'll try. He has those. So, um... Who's he getting married to? Uh, Selena Kyle, or Catwoman. Okay. Why is that... Isn't that every time they get married and stuff, like, doesn't she, like, like break up with him, like, a few days? Or, like, during they've, the- they've never gotten married, and it... Now, here's some, here's some spoilers for any of you avid comic readers, which I can guarantee there's none of inside of my audience. <laughs> but, um, just in case there is one, I'm warning you, there are spoilers here, get off now. Yeah, because, like, this is the end, so you can stay now. So, 
Please like though, like it, like. <laughs> Subscribe to my video. Press the damn bell now. So, um, going back to thing. Um, so essentially, this comic, I would say, it was it was still pretty well done, even though I disagreed with how it ended. Oh, because yeah. they advertised it as it being the wedding event. They did not get married. Yeah. And, like, even if it were to just, like, have been, like, it's just like, okay, that's it. They're not getting married. Like, they, the writer on it had tweeted out after. He was like, wait for 100. Wait for Batman number 100. So that's probably when they're going to actually get married. What does that mean? Batman number 50, Batman number 100? Like, is that, does that, does that, does that do the numbers have any meaning? Or is it just like a... Well, it's like, it's like the number, it's like uh, an episode inside of a TV show. So how can it go to... Okay, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm not going to do that. So, uh, inside of different comic book lines, like, they tend to reboot their lines after a while. So, like, say, for example, they ran um, normal Batman for um, 1,000 issues. Now, sure. they're going to end the line, then they'll reboot it, and now it's um, Batman starting at number one again, even though all that story is still canon. Although, recently, they did cut off quite a bit of the canon. Hmm. And um, at the time, a lot of people were displeased with it. Now, I'm I'm really happy that they did it. I think the stories that have come out of it have, for the most part, been amazing. Um, so, um, overall, um, they did not get married because Selena Kyle was wanting to marry um, Batman because of the person that he was. But Batman was saying, if I get married to you, I'm going to be changing who I am. I'm no longer going to be this person. I'm going to actually finally be able to be happy. And Selena says, but I, I, I don't want that from you. That's not the reason why I don't why want I you to be happy. And she just, uh, she fell in love with this person who simply, like, wouldn't exist anymore. Who, Batman? Like, who'd she fall, like... She fell in, she loved, she fell in love with, with the Bat. And the person who mm. Bruce Wayne really is. Um, and so overall, even though while, um, she never showed up to their, um, wedding ceremony. Nah. It was, um... It was overall still a decently well done comic. Um, the artwork was amazing. The artwork was actually really well done because of what they did was they got a lot of the artists who are involved with Batman to come in and they would do specific pages. Mm. So like you should see the you should see the credits. There's just like fifty artists. Wait, hold on. Did the art style change like every page? Uh, how how that work? For the most part, for the most part. Really? Okay. The, because they it was like it was um they had uh, each wrote out notes for each other. Cause the thing that you're supposed to do. So, um, it would, like, they inside of individual panels, they would be reading off parts of the note, and they would, um, get an artist to draw a picture based off the information that was going on in the note at the time. So, as they would go on, like, through when they're reading the notes and stuff like that, it would be a, a different artist separate from the, the, uh, the actual artist on the book. And then when it was just the actual story going on, they would, it would be the core artist. That was doing it. So either way, very well done. The artwork was fantastic. Still pretty well written, even though I disagree with um, how they handled the wedding situation. Um, I overall enjoyed it. Um, uh, before we go, um, let's talk about um, some game releases that you all should keep in mind uh, that are coming out for July. John, turn your phone off! Why is it? I'm getting messages from the Discord. So we're getting... Um, Reminder, everybody coming out this Friday, we have Octopath Traveler, um, a game that's made from the developers of Bravely Default. Now, I've heard some things on it that make that uh, have made me not as hyped up about it as I once was. However, I've, I've played the game for about three hours myself, and I've still enjoyed my time with it. If that's a game that you seem excited for, I would still recommend for it. Oh, I'm, Octopath, I'm sorry, Octopath Traveler or, or, believe, or Bravely? Octopath. 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 It's made by the same people who made Bravely Default. Octodad? No, no, John. Ocean. So, um, what is singing Ocean Man now? Ocean Man. All right. So, uh, the next game, um, Sonic Mania Plus. Uh, Sonic Mania last is year it... made my top ten games of the year. It was it was my number three pick. I think it was either my number. Is two it is is, is that DLC or like a new game? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a new game. I haven't. If I'm being honest, I I haven't even done that much research into it, which is a shame <laughs> because I, I really did. I loved Mania, so like hearing. I've never played this on a game in my life. Really... They're okay. Well, I know the beginning ones are good, but the newer ones, except for Mania, for I, shit. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even say that like the older ones are even that good. 
<laughs> I, I would I wouldn't say that one is that good. I would say that two, three, and Knuckles are probably the, like some of the best games ever made. Um, so like, and I I don't I don't love platformers, but those Sonic games I have to admit they're really well done. They're just fun. Uh, you got the Mega Man X Legacy One and Two collection. I believe that's coming out this month. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong on that. And the last thing that I would recommend is uh, the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's being ported to both Nintendo Switch and 3DS. If you have either of those systems and have not played Captain Toad Treasure Tracker for the Wii U, there is almost no excuse. It's a really fun little puzzle uh, platformer game. Um, it's, you know it's bound to be really good. I would recommend you picking it up. Anyways, you know what's okay? fun? Um, the DS forcing you to download it when you don't want to download it. What? When I when I had my DS on the home screen because I was doing some stuff, um, the notifications came up saying, "Treasure, um, treasure tractor demo available." Yeah, they. Wait they, upon your home screen. They'll just uh, they'll just do that stuff like that. Yeah, they'll put the demos on. But your it's like, home do you screen. want it on your home screen? It's like, no, I don't even like this game. It doesn't look. Uh, ah. But you know what? You I'll, can try do? It, I'll try it. I'll try you it. You can like you can go into it and it'll be like, okay, you have to download this from the eShop. Then you can just say, no, I don't want to do that. Then it'll say, okay, do you want to delete this application? Then yeah, you yes. can say yes. I know that's what I did. That's what I did. Take my father's hand, let me Alright, so, um, once again, to all of those oh, of you who are man. new here, um, thanks Hi. for sticking around. Um, we appreciate you a lot. Um, uh, so, at, at this moment, show? for any of you who have made it to the end of this video, I have one question for you. What are those? I'm developing a, a brand new top ten for my channel as a little bit of a placeholder before we can get the Super Mario World review out. Um, it is it is top ten main themes from video games. Main themes are are the, the centerpiece of music inside of a game. Some famous examples, okay, is the Super Mario Brothers theme, the, the Legend of Zelda theme. Those are absolute classics in the genre. Uh, my question, my question, to, John, I'm trying to talk. I'm beatboxing. Okay, you can beatbox in the background. So my question to you is, um... Which uh which uh main theme is is your favorite um because I David. simply there could there could there's a very good possibility that I might just have simply forgotten that one existed. Le leave it in the comments below and put a comment in the comments and like the like and like the like. I can guarantee if we're if we're recording this podcast and we're at the time where we're at now, there's nobody watching at this point. All right. Um. That being said, I'd like to thank. Um. The nobody who has gotten to this point. Um. But for those of you we who did get want. to any point. Um, of the video, I would like to thank all of you. Uh, this has been fantastic. Uh, I'd like to thank my good friend John for coming on the program. All right, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see a racial slur. Okay, very good. Do that. Spastic. <coughs> that word means um, a disabled person in the United Kingdom, I believe. It's not a racial slur. Want me to say one? You said you were gonna say one, dude. <sighs> Just cut it off there. Okay. Just cut it off there, please. 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 Alright, so that's it. Thank you, John. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Did I go to him? Oh, that that hurts. Did it actually? Let me hear. Yeah. Uh, I need no. to stop it first. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Do you want to do it?